Well, tourists are scrambling to get out, some fleeing for their lives, as more than 80 wildfires rage in Greece. The most serious is on the picturesque island of Rhodes in the Dodecanese region. More than 19,000 people have been moved away from the danger zone in what's being described as the largest evacuation in that country's history. CTV's Jill Makashan has the latest. The beauty of the island of Rhodes, part of it now in ruins. Seaside villages destroyed, once bustling hotels silhouetted by fire as thousands of people escaped to safety. We were in the pool at about three o'clock in the afternoon. We could see flames coming over the top of the, the forest in Rhodes. Those who couldn't be taken to the mainland were housed on safe areas of the island in schools and gymnasiums. This man arrived by plane as the wildfires raged. This is where we come to here. This is our hotel. Been here since midnight last night. Uncomfortable for tourists, utter loss for the people who live here. <laughs> My house, she says, please save us. Dozens of homes have burned. There are reports at least three hotels have been destroyed. As fire officials brace for more rescues, they are calling the one overnight historic. <laughs> This is the largest undertaking of safe transport of residents and tourists that has ever been carried out in our country, he said. Hundreds of wildfires are burning across Greece as the country wilts under the heat. In Athens, where it was 44 degrees today, visiting hours for the Acropolis and other archaeological sites have been revised due to soaring temperatures. This summer could break a record for the country's longest continuous heat wave set in 1987 a heat dome that extends across much of southern Europe. In sweltering St. Peter's Square Sunday, the Pope urged world leaders to do more to control climate change. It is an urgent challenge and cannot be put off. It concerns everyone, he said. Let us protect our common home. Canadian tourism companies are telling CTV News tonight they're getting some calls to postpone vacations to Greece, but no cancellations yet. That may depend on how long the heat emergency overseas continues. Sandy. All right, Jill, thank you.